Hello everyone, my name is Abdullah and I am a doctor's degree student in the School of Mechanical Engineering, Chonam National University. In this lecture, today I am going to present a research paper, namely denitrification rates and their controlling factors in streams of the Han River basin with different land use patterns. So now, <clears throat> let's jump up to start our proceedings. All right, uh, as you see from the outline of the journal, which is uh, Fedosphere is, is, is one of the reputed journal of the elsewhere publishers. Without further, further ado, it's time to explore this prestigious research works in a respective manner to dissect and pinpoint all important outcomes one by one. For, for this entire session, we will go through the following contents. The introduction of a denitrification rate, then research background followed by the current state of the art. Next, we will uh, check out how this work focused by using different techniques and materials to, over, to overcome the challenges of the previous studies. Then, of course, the outcomes and conclusion. All right, before the dissection of the main research article, initially it is very, very important to know about the denitrification rate and its importance. So uh, you can see what is denitrification rate. So denitrification rate is the microbial process of reducing nitrate and nitrite to gaseous forms of nitrogen, principally nitrous oxide and nitrogen. So a large range of microorganisms can uh, denitrify so denitrif denitrification is a response to changes in the oxygen concentration of their immediate environment only when oxygen is limited will denitrifiers switch from aerobic respiration to anaerobic respiration using nitrite as electron acceptor it is a, a beneficial process in removing nitrite from from wastewater but has a negative effect in removing valuable nitrogen fertilizer from the soil and releasing the greenhouse gases and tropospheric pollutant okay now we will go through the research background uh, which give us opportunity to explore this broad area of the denitrification rate and overcome those challenges in the field. Uh, net nitrogen inputs to the region from human activities. So uh, the deposition of uh, oxidized nitrogen and the uh, atmospheric reduction of oxidized nitrogen to the west uh, watershed regions and denitrification rate in the aquatic uh, ecosystem are known to influence by various factors such as soil grain size, organic matter content, temperature and nitrate concentration and stream, stream subsurfaces consisting of fine sands exhibit higher denitrification rates than those consisting of large pebbles due due to largely to the increased specific surface area and the provision of a greater volume of matrix for propagation of microorganisms and previously uh, the the stream uh, denitrification have been mainly concerned with uh, the following thing first one is denitrification rate second soil chemistry and finally water chemistry but very less studies found on uh, uh, deal with the denitrifying community structures so the, to overcome the uh, challenges in the current state of the art we set the following aims and objectives nitrogen reduction management within streams to study the factors controlling denitrification rates that is uh, bio uh, biogeochemistry water chemistry and denitrifying community structures within the streams second one is 
10 watersh watersheds were classified into three land use patterns forest agriculture and urban third one is uh, the average uh, quantity of denitrifying genes was the lowest in urban streams the fourth aims and objective of this uh, work is genetic diversity of denitrifying genes was not affected by watershed land use pattern but exhibited stream dependent pattern uh, clay dissolved organic carbon and water contents were the main factors controlling denitrification rate in the agriculture agricultural streams and finally dissolved organic carbon was the main controlling factor in the urban streams in the materials and method section we will discuss about methodology of the current state of the art in this section the focus is site selection and sampling and method used to analyze and measure the denitrification rate as you can see from figure 1a which shows the aerial view of Han River Basin and the selected 10 fields pictures of the following nine studied streams uh, specifically C R Y A W S H R G P S N A Y Y J and T uh, fifth order streams in the Strandler stream order were selected because the size of the fifth order stream should small enough to be highly sensitive to general localized background nitrogen inputs in figure 1b show how the land use pattern is measured by using AutoCAD 2008 and in figure 1c those 10 sites in figure 1a <coughs> divide into forest uh, ya and c are up urban ay yj s and nt and agricultural gp c are down ws and hr all right here we go to see how each habitat is classified a sampling site with the meandering part in the streams and with alluvial island because the hyperhic hypo, ex, exchange flow in figure 2a and four habitats with different uh, micro topographic characteristics that is riparian channel front of alluvial island and back of alluvial island within each site were designated for sampling and in C2 measurement as you can see in figure 2a okay so for denitrification rates the in C2 way is used with acetylene blocking assay at the sampling spots of the four habitats in 10 sites shown in figure 2b and for more secure measurement a polyvinyl chloride chamber or pvc 45 centimeter height and 5.5 centimeter diameter was fixed by inserting its 15 centimeter base through the sediment in order to prevent any gaseous leakage during the collection of sediment all right in the last part of the methodology of this research are classified in five steps seen from the table and how the different methods used to go through each step accordingly so physiochemical analysis in situ of measurement we did a temperature of soil and water ph of soil and water dissolve oxygen electronic conductivity of water using a handheld handheld instrument along with denitrification rate measurement so in, in, in extracellular and rhyme activities uh, total four habitats in each site were analyzed in duplicate of total number of 76 samples and in that case the uh, the fluorescent methyl embelifryl or simply we called it muf so we we actually uh, measure the beta uh, gluco glucosidase and uh, nitrogen acetyl uh, glucose glucosaminidase NAG and phosphatase for fo phosphatase and uh, aryl sulfatase 
and quantification of denitrification functional genes and quantification of denitrification functional genes uh, we use the ultra clean soil DNA kit to extract DNA from duplicate soil samples for measurement using the real time quantity of uh, polymerase chain reaction and potential denitrifiers denitrifying functional genes uh, specifically NAR S and NOS Z in the diversity of denitrifying genes terminal restriction fragment length polymerism uh, polymorphism uh, in that case we also did the the nitrifying functional genes like NAR S and NOS Z by using ABI 373 genetic analyzer to determine TRFLP and fluorescence level uh, primer pairs to determine uh, NAR S and NOS Z respectively. In statistical analysis the final one in the material method section the significance of land use pattern and habitat on denitrification rate was investigated investigate using mixed effect and the second last section of this uh, research work is the result and discussion so as the figure 3 give the clear explanation about the denitrification values in each habitat depends on the inflow of organic carbon and nutrients from vegetation and human activity in the case of the perian zone for forest same trend also seen in the urban habitat but this time the channel or ch and that alluvial island ai back also shows some increasing trends and finally in case of the agriculture uh, agriculture habitat the channel is leading and overall the range is inclined while uh, alluvial uh, island uh, back slightly decline as in the urban case we see significant increase so in conclusion the denitrification rate was the highest in agricultural streams and lowest in forest stream because of the uh, anth anthropological disturbance likewise the sediment and stream denitrification rates were highest in agriculture and lowest in the forest stream too in the in the outcome of the research we are going to discuss the following land use pattern as seen from the table to denitrifying the community analysis so the statistical analysis that is the multi response uh, permutation procedure or uh, in simply we call MRPP a method were performed for comparison of multiple bacterial communities from different land user pattern from the table one we seen average values of denitrification rate which we discussed in the last slide but the average quantity of the denitrifying genes is not consistent in each land use pattern the a value is the stat uh, statistic parameter for uh, testing the hypothesis in multiple groups in MRPP and the multiple data sets with a value greater than 0 0.3 imply that there are significant differences among the data and here the A value of MRPP were higher than 0 0.3 in a test among the streams and were much lower than 0 0.3 in the test among the land uh, use pattern in both bacterial diversity sets targeting NAR S and NOS S which is the genes uh, in table 2 in, in parallel gene diversity analysis using NAR S and NOS that also showed that land use uh, land use types did not affect uh, Shannon diversity indices SDI. Uh, in conclusion, uh, uh, phylogenetic diversities of the uh, bacterial denitrifying genes NARS and NAR S and NOS Z were different among the streams, although although denitrification rates were associated with the 
watershed land use patterns so all right in the results and discussion section is still continue uh, with the uh, you, with the table table 3 is clearly shows the details of multiple linear regression analysis and back in the material and method section uh, we divide 10 sites into the following categories in nine streams to find out the soil biochemical properties so as you can see here <coughs> log uh, uh, denitrification rate will be equal to 0 0.539 pH plus 0 0.051 NH4 plus minus N minus 0 0.045 WC minus 0 0.013 GC minus 1.895 uh, in bracket R square is equal to 0 0.536 that means P is less than 0 0.001 among all the sites so that mean where the WC is the water content and GC is the gravel content uh, furthermore pH is uh, pH is uh, uh, positive which the controlling factor of the denitrification because uh, microbial activities are greatly influenced by this term and NO3 minus is a is a direct electron acceptor for denitrifiers likewise uh, uh, NO3 minus minus N concentration below 0 0.4 mg NO3 minus N L L minus is seen in the table 3 and for forest stream sites the temperature was the only controlling factor for the urban stream sites the uh, DOC was the only controlling factor uh, which is not in the previous analysis for agriculture stream sites the clay content DOC and water content was the controlling factors respectively in the final outcome of this uh, entire research work uh, is in the table 4 which clearly represents the water chemical properties of the four habitats with different characteristics DOC and, and uh, NH4 plus minus H high concentration in agriculture streams while, while forested streams have the lowest concentration of these nutrients and urban streams is intermediate concentration which is basically in the previous studies shown already uh, uh, in uh, covered by different authors so the urban stream site showed a high availability of carbon source and uh, NH4 plus minus N in both soil and water followed by the agricultural and forested stream sites however agriculture sites demonstrate the highest denitrification rates in both case which is basically in this current study uh, focus and soil temperature overall study site is 21 to 30 uh, to 38 degrees celsius varied more than water temperature which is 22.5 to 28.5 degrees celsius due to the lower thermal capacity uh, of soil as you can see from the table 3 and also in table 4 soil and water temperature were lowest in the forested stream sites followed by the agricultural and urban stream sites the shedding of trees may decrease the temperature of forest forested areas and heat generation as well as the thermal pol pol pollution and and altered uh, a diabetic lapse rate in urban areas can increase temperature and the water conductivities were high in urban stream sites as well as the agriculture agricultural stream sites possibly due to what due to waste water discharge and agriculture runoffs respectively we did already seen those things in table 2 in the previous slides so higher ph values of the agricultural steam sites 
might be due to the application of large volume of alkaline fertilizers concentration of agricultural uh, agricultural stream sites and the urban stream sites were three times higher than those of the world stream average chloride concentrations of the urban stream sites which is equal to 40.82 mg l uh, were uh, five times the the world average which is 7.8 uh, possibly due to the uh, due to the high sodium chloride uh, concentration of uh, domestic waste water all right here we go the the outcomes or the conclusion of all this uh, prestigious work is first in situ denitrification rate was, was the highest in agriculture steam stream sites of the Han River Basin Korea is 289.6 and uh, followed by the urban stream site which is 157 and the forested stream sites is 41.9 and the genetic diversity of denitrifying genes that one uh, near S and no Z was not affected by watershed land use pattern but exhibited stream dependent pattern the average uh, quantity of denitrifying genes was the lowest in urban streams the denitrification, denitrification rate was explained by multiple factors by the following uh, formulas among all the sites <coughs> for the uh, forested stream sites the regression equation of denitrification rate was uh, equal to log uh, denitrification rate and in that case the temperature was the only factor controlling denitrification likewise in urban streams the DOC was the only controlling factor and in case of the regression equation uh, dr equal to 0 0.254 clay plus 0 0.16 doc minus 0 0.051 wc plus 0 0.334 which equal to the r value of 0 0.721 which is less than uh, 0 0.001 in the value of p was derived for agriculture agricultural stream sites these results revealed that clay dissolved organic carbon and water contents in agricultural streams streams dissolve organic carbon in urban streams and temperature in forested streams should be caref carefully considered in water quantity management in these that's all from this presentation session and don't forget to subscribe and like my youtube channel and press the bell icon that you could receive all new research contents and your kind comments will be appreciated